Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how we can actually create switchable materials in Unreal Engine 5.1. I have created this kitchen design with switchable materials for top cabinets, bottom cabinets, tall cabinets, countertops, backsplash walls and so on. So having multiple options is always useful so we can actually show it to the client how different material combinations will work in the particular given space. So let me show you how I did it. There are many ways we can actually do material selection. You can press a key and select a material or you can actually select a material and highlight it and do it or you can actually click a material and the menu pops up and then you select a material from it so that's what i'm going to show you now let's begin okay this is the model let's go ahead and add some geometry let's go for basic shape or you can actually bring in your own model using datasmith plugin okay let me bring in the spear so what we are going to do is actually when the spear is clicked the menu pops up with material options to select so basically we will have three actions clicking spear menu widget and material options okay let's go ahead and create level variants so go to miscellaneous click level variants name it as level variant spear okay now double click this now create a variant set let's say spear materials okay we'll have different material options let's say material one we'll have a couple of options we'll create it later okay now let's go ahead and create widget. Go to user interface, widget, create user widget. Call it as widget sphere. Double click. Okay, now we need to create menu. Now let's bring in horizontal box. Okay, now right click and wrap with canvas panel. Now you see the anchors are at the corner. So if you just bring it middle and realign this horizontal box. Now we'll have two buttons, button one, and one more button. Okay, select the two buttons, fill it and give a padding, let's say 20 points. So, so these are two buttons, we can create text on top of it, one and two, we'll call it as one and this we'll call it as two. So basically these are two buttons. Now we need to give actions for these buttons. Go to graph and now let's build an event construct. So drag a pin from event construct and call get all actors of class. So basically this event will get all actors of the class in the file. So what we are going to do, we are going to call only level variant set class. So select level variant sets actor. So this event is going to only call the level variant set actor. From the output actor, let's get a copy and right click here and promote a variable. Now connect this pin. Now what we need to do, this button when it is clicked, we need to call that particular thing. So from here, let's pull it out. Let's call uh, switch on variant binding because we are creating material 1, material 2 and so on. Now we don't need this pin, so we can disconnect this pin by clicking Alt. Now connect this pin and get the variable set from the target. Now the variable set name is basically this name, sphere materials. The variable material sub material is material one. Okay, let's enter variant set name as sphere materials. Variant name is material one. Now let's do the same for the another button, unclick, drag it here, now copy this, now connect these nodes and now this material name will be material 2. Compile and save it. Now we will create another material later. Now we need to create click action for the spear. Right click blueprint class actor now call it as blueprint sphere double click now there is no geometry here so we need to add a static mesh especially this mesh so add static mesh okay now drag and drop to the scene root now rename it sphere mesh 
Now select this, we need to bring in this mesh, which is spear. Okay, there are two, three spears here. Let's go and find out. So to find out, right click, browse to asset. It will bring you to exact location where it is. So it is actually engine content and basic shapes. Okay, now let's call it a spear and connect this. If you want to confirm, just click here, it will exactly take you to the spot. So we have connected the right uh, static mesh. Okay, now we need to create a trigger action for this. So come here, when this spear is clicked, okay, on click the spear mesh, we need to bring in the widget, which is create widget. And the class of the widget is basically the widget we created, which is WD spear. And the player is get player controller. So what happens? When the spear is hit, it is going to call in for this particular widget, which we have created. Now, now that has to display on the viewport. So add to viewport and connect this to a target. That's it. Now, if you look at here, this is actually a mesh, but what we have created, we have created blueprint spear. So we need to bring it here. You can just delete it. Just put it here. Now this particular blueprint has to be applied for this. So this material name should have this actor, which is blueprint spear. Drag and drop here and type here material. This has only one material, spear. So we are trying to change in the material of the spear and give it some material. Now duplicate this and call it as material 2. Now this spear we will apply maybe walnut. Okay. So this material has one, this material has another one. Okay. Save it. Save all. Now to make it work, we need to drag the level variant set into the scene. Okay. You see, now when you click, the menu pops up. One, two. One, two. Now you can go ahead and create another button. Maybe another variant. Drag the button, put it over here. Select all three buttons, fill it and give it a value for the padding, equal values. Let's copy it. When this button is clicked, okay, add it here. The target is coming from the parameter. Now this material name will be material 3. Now save. Now come to the level variant manager, duplicate this, call it as material 3. Apply some material. Save, okay, play, and place it again. Click, click, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3. It works. That's it. So like this, I have created for this. Like top cabinets, bottom cabinets, countertop, backsplash wall, tall cabinets. So yeah, that's it. So you can create any number of material combinations. Come back here, create a level variant, add material submenus, and in the widget menu, add a button and give the variant name. That's it. That's it guys. I hope it helps. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would give me motivation to do more videos. And if you specifically want to know any trick, kindly do let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.